What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Gabe. Uh, we got fucking dinosaurs, because we've been missing out on some Roar XD content for a while. And I built it, because it's basically tier 1 out of rage, like, the moment it came out. And Infinite Deity, Cradle, and Mysterious Fortune are going to do nothing to change the tier 1 of the meta, so... It's gonna stay like this for a while. So, I got Dragon Egg. It's your starter. I think it's the only one. I I I, I don't know. I I don't know why they would print another one. There's no like archetype required starter. So we're running um, Egg. Then you got the boss of the deck, uh, Thundering Sword Dragon, Angry React Dragon. Um, it's really fucking good like it's so good some decks only play four grade threes and i don't do that but like if i don't have it in hand i will sometimes guard with any other threes in my hands just to g assist and get into this guy because he's genuinely that good of a card it's wild but anyways what does he do? So, not once per turn, you can put a rear guard into another rear guard as a gauge to retire one of your opponent's rear guards, which is just great for fueling abilities, including its other skill, which is on attack, uh, counter blast one, you can stand three rear guards that have three or more gauge, and your front row gets 5k. So, what's cool about this is if your back row unit has the gauge, like a grade one, you can stand it like a full column. If you got some circles with Excel, you can um, just stand those with their bonuses. It's wild. Like, oh, yeah. So, it's just... The fact that this deck can hit, like, seven plus attacks because of this dude, especially in Standard, is just fucked up. It's like, you can win if you have the right setup on your grade 3 ride turn. So yeah, running up Angie Boy at 4. I really like its art, because it uh, doesn't have any eyes. Um, this is for you, Davon. Come back to us. Um, back on eyes, we got a Fiery Light Dragon Optical Cerdo. Uh, Really good utility card. Excel gift also on place or on attack of a vanguard. You can just give a rear guard a gauge. It doesn't need to be itself. You can give it to anything. So like this card by itself gives you two gauge, which is like 66% of the way there to um, anger blader just by itself. So it's a really good utility card. It also is, like, part of what helps Tachi be, like, good and premium because it's, like, the two cards by itself is, like, a, like, 40% of Gluttony Nebris. I might build premium Tachi. Costs money, though, so who knows. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, four copies of Grade 2s now is, um... Another great card, Clear Out Dragon Sweeper Aquaconto. That's like three different words, but cool. Go off, I guess, sweepy boy. Um, on attack of a Vanguard, it gets a gauge, and continuous during both players' turns, it gets 5k for its gauge, and if it has three gauge, it basically gets resist. So that's dope. It's really dope. The fact that it, the 5k works on both players' turns basically means, like, if you can give it the 3 gauge for Anger Blader, which is really easy, you... It really... And it's a 24 base on both players' turns, so your opponent's really not touching it, which is cool, because, like, if it didn't have that, they'd probably just be hitting it, so it could not help, be good with Anger Blader. But yeah, this is great. It's a great 4 of... The grade 2 lineup in this deck is honestly dummy thick, so... Uh, next is three copies of Ravenous Dragon Megarax. Uh, it's a good consistency card on attack, retire a rearguard to draw, and then if Megarax is on a rearguard, you can counterblast one, give itself a gauge, and it gets 5k for each of its gauge. Um, 
the gauge part is like can be helpful but honestly the real reason you run it is for the retire and draw effect because it lets you proc cards like Blytops and Lacerate Rex, which is honestly really important because that's your primary way of getting resources. And what's really cool about cards like um, Blytops and Lacerate is if you don't see Anger Blader in your hand, you can just keep giving like those cards gauge until you see it, then retire them and just add it back to your hand. Which has got... I've honestly used Mega Rex for that, like, that specifically. And by specifically, I mean... I have seen Anger Blader as a gauge and then retired it to put it into my hand more times than I've really used the Counter Blast for the gauge in 5k. But it's solid. Uh, it's a good... It's, it's pretty good. Uh, next, we're running three copies of the aforementioned Assault Dragon Blytops. Uh, when it would be retired from rear, you can counterblast one to add two of its gauge to your hand. Really good utility. Um, because Calling on Top of is still retiring, if you give it the gauge and you don't have a card like Mega Rex, you can just, like, put a card over it, send it to drop, and then just counterblast away, and you'll still technically go plus one. If you got two gauge, which is dope. If only it said you can add all of its gauge, this deck would actually just probably be unfair. Uh, next, we're running two copies of the Grade 2 Turbo Smilodon. It's just Optical Cerado, but as a Grade 2, so there's no real reason to go over it. Just more ways of getting gauge and faster. Then two copies of, honestly, a really cool card is uh, Deflagration Dragon Bomb Raptor. Uh, whenever your opponent would be re uh, opponent's rear guard is retired during your turn, that's by either effect or attacking. It gets a gauge and it gets five k per the gauge, which depending on how fast you're ranking um, ram your gauge ramming, um, it can be insane with anger blader. It, it, if you pull off anger blader with bomb raptor, it's gonna be a fifty a twenty four k restanding rear guard minimum. So that's really cool. On the grade ones, we're running four copies of White Blade Dragon Zandalofo. Really cool. Rust itself, give a rearguard a gauge. Then you may move all of its gauge, all of your gauge on any rearguard to it, but not you can't choose, so it's just like you either give it the one or you give it your entire board. But yeah, if you really want to make your fucking Sweep rack or Conto a beater. There you go. Um, but yeah, you can do that. You can do that, and then you can counterblast one to give the chosen unit an additional five k. You, you, that actually comes in handy. You do that if the card itself doesn't get power from gauge, but you're probably going to end up restanding it. Like you do that if you're going to give the gauge to a card like Optical Cerado or um, Smilodon. But yeah. This at four, super helpful. Really, really good. Gr honestly, one of the best cards from the set. Uh, next, three copies of the other affirmation, Vicious Claw Dragon Lacerator Rex. On place, it gets a gauge. And then when it would be retired from rear, you can Soul Blast one to uh, get one gauge to its hand. Yeah, it's... um. Same thing as Blight Tops, but it gives itself the gauge as a at the cost of only being able to get one back. But just another consistency piece, and it's free gauge. Uh, you can use Zandalofo on it to make it a 13k restander, which like could be better, but could also be a whole lot worse. Next, uh, three copies of Sonic Noah on boost. You can give the card its boosting gauge. And on a hit or successful boost of a Vanguard, you can retire your guard to draw one. I'm honestly thinking about cutting it down for some of the other cards you're going to see, but it's come in really handy. The retire for a draw is pretty neat. Um, it's free gauge, which, like, that, that extra one gauge. If you have it plus Smilodon or Optical Cerado equals three gauge on a card, which is automatically anger blader so I, that's why i really like sonic noah next two copies of the promo savage trooper it's just sweeper aquaconto except without the 
way of giving itself gauge. So during either player's turn, uh, it gets 5k for its own gauge. So if you fill that up, you're going to get another beater, which is dope. And then one copy of Roar Barrio on play Soul Blast 1, uh, give a rearguard a gauge, and that card gets 5k for each of its own gauge. It's another way of giving cards that don't get power power, which is why I like it. But the fact that it's on place and has a cost, whereas Zandalofo is act multiple times, and it can, it's just resting itself, so you're not actually losing counter or soul blast is kind of why I like it a lot more, but the power from Morbario is really cool. Uh, trigger lineup is pretty obvious. It's four draw. I mean, I'm stupid. It's six draw, four PG, four Sludge Anculo, four Heals, Savage Shaman, and then six Crit, four Baby Tops, and four Black Cannon Tiger. You you really only want to ride one card being Anger Blader, so you want to see it as much as possible. But also, Rear Guard effects are how you get your gauge. So this deck it kind of relies on rear guards not for like their specific like being there but because they're your utility pieces and you just need ways of getting your gauge so that's what your draws are for and like crits are good for killing and stuff but like anger blader can restand cards at 24k and it just keeps going above that if you're on actor Kanto or other cards that get power so like the crits are cool, but like honestly, you you can kill pretty well without them. So the extra two you're not missing. Yeah, uh, that's the deck. I I want to give a shout out to the uh, Nick Bond if he watches the channel. I get I traded it uh, my buddy fight deck for basically his entire Tachi collection. So I have a place out of basically everything. So I'm just gonna play test with a bunch of stuff might change it might not uh might but might see premium soon really hope so but that's money again so uh thanks again like comment subscribe and see you in the next honestly probably like 2020 if i'm out i got a date peace homies